Ah, this is... Ah. <laughs> Not going good and going good. I had so much background noise I couldn't keep the microphone open. Well, maybe it's going to be a little bit calmer now. Um, the screw holes are offset in this part. And I don't know why. Also, they have tried to offset them in the base plate that holds the stepper motor. But then it ends up being not so good. But I don't think it'll have any mechanical meaning. Ah, the stepper motor is centered anyway. I'm still wondering if that hole is even in the center. Something has gone a bit wrong in the whole production design of these space. I mean, it, it's probably just peanuts. I don't, I don't think it'll work. That's offset too. Why in the world would they not have that servo hole like lined up and centered? I mean, if you do this stuff in a CAD program of some kind, you can't get this wrong. Understand. And I mean the holes here, these four holes are not even centered on this plate. I mean I do realize I bought this from directly from China, so uh, it could be a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a design. But I mean this is pretty ridiculous. I mean yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to mechanically copy something and you have the assistance of a CAD program, I mean, it, it's sort of like, how how do you... Or there's... Well, it can't be an issue in their laser cutter. But, I mean, how, how could you end up with G-code that gives the instructions to the laser cutter to to cut, like, to cut holes in old places and... You know, twist this hole, twist it sideways and not get those holes aligned up. I really don't get it. Anyway, we will continue putting this together. Um, I'm determined to actually get it to work. Um, I might have to silence the audio again because we have, I have my children running around. Things happening, so... It's, and then they sometimes they play music from, yeah, they're playing games and music and films and stuff, so then I can't have the audio on because then it'll be picked up and chucked out to YouTube. So I have to make sure I don't re-record any uh, copyrighted material. Okay. And then, of course, uh, you saw in the previously, if you watched this, then you saw that I had to do this modification. I had to, like, embed the screws. Um, yeah. So, we'll see if this thing ends up being logical or not. Um, must have been some magical master plan. Why and why have they offset the holes? 
Or maybe it's just me that does not understand <laughs> the logic. Oh. No, because this ser servo holder part, this one here, even when I put it the right, right way round, in accordance to the offset in, that would have, is in this picture, it was still not aligned. The holes were not aligned. But why would one make such a complicated design? Why? Oh, I can't really. It's the problem with having an engineering background that one uh, gets annoyed with small things. <laughs> and if one's just the normal, normal person, then one would just like, God, uh, they, uh, whatever, we just put it together and it'll probably work. And they're right, it will work. But I must say, I find this stuff like this. I mean, it doesn't really help putting the servo over the right way around. Or I mean, I cannot. Maybe they want that this the servo plate can only be put in one orientation. Okay, can dig that, and then the the servo holder plate would only go one way around according to the holes that are that it's made to go in. Okay, but anyway, we have to continue because I mean, we have it, so I can't spend any more time on that. And um, it does look like the picture, so oh, ah, move on to the next. Okay. Ah. Now I tighten up those screws for nothing. Oh, shouldn't do things too fast. I'll show you what I mean. As soon as I can get the camera switch. There we go. Now we're back to this one. And there's the space plate. All right. Ah, I screwed, I tightened these down, and of course, what they want is that we should screw. And one can see that the, this one here is offset in. Let's see if I show it like that. So then, we obviously want this one to go on. Let's see if I orientate it. But then one needs to they they want us to to screw these screws into there so then I actually I made a mistake I pre-tightened these so I have to loosen these up so that we can actually screw the screws in but that's just not, not really a big deal I just untighten them so so they're all untightened Put it the right way around, and then we put it like this. And then I need a screwdriver. Just a sec. And like with that. Not many screwdrivers. Too many, actually. Ah, 
force it too far too much around to the next one and it's according to the picture of these it should end up being flush I'm screwing them in until my finger kind of just just feels it. Okay, so wow, that's actually surprising, Stuart. So, ah, back to the picture again. I'm just going to play it, see which orientation it has to be shown in to get the same. Uh, it's good practice for YouTubing. So where are the holes then? This is this is really schizophrenic stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll just show it. Okay, but anyway, we're that far. Well, I must say some adjustments were needed. First, a little bit of the first time I come across this kind of concept, where they were, are using these whole orientations to. Uh, you know, shifting hole locations to uh, uh, enable positioning of parts. But I didn't like this, what they did with the stepper motor. I thought that was, that was just overcomplicated. I mean, if you're going to offset the screws, then I think you should. I would have done it differently. No, what I would have done is I would have moved them down to here. Both of them. Like make sure you can't put the plate on the wrong way around to get the stepper motor and the hold, and then you would have done the same purpose. But this small offset on both sides. No. Okay, I can agree on this one here. Maybe that's a good sort of key key notch one could call it. So that okay, you put this plate on the on the you put the smaller plate on the big plate in the right place, or the you put it on on with the right orientation. Oh. Huh. And um, yeah, then I was going to comment, uh, as I should have probably said at the, big, at the beginning, here. Um, this I purchased directly from China, so I'm not sponsored by this company here. The, the link, it, it comes to this company and this instruction. But I have no idea if, if this product that I'm using is actually been manufactured by Small Hammer, so don't don't start writing stuff to Small Hammer about their product. I mean, potentially, because I actually don't know. This could be, like I said, a copy of a copy of a copy, or it could be the original. You know, Small Hammer makes them, and then they 
they sell them through other sellers because it is a CC domain, so it is a Chinese company. Um, yeah, so just a bit of warning. So if I put this together and we find stuff, it's not necessarily it's not necessarily the acrylic parts that one gets um, from small hammer, even though they did have um, pictures of the. Uh, in the overview, I can just show quickly here. They actually have this, so they don't actually do the pre sinking as far as I see here on, on their delivered plexi parts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, done that. They have done that. And then what's this one here? So, install the bottom acrylic plate and two pivot server. Okay, several instructions. Okay, so let me start on that then. Don't need that, I don't suppose. No, that's not the base plate. That's not the base plate. This is the base plate. Oops, take it around like that. Ah, looks like we're gonna need some cerebral arm stuff after all. I thought they weren't gonna be used. Uh, looks like I'm a bit wrong. So what do we need? It's the bigger arm only. And then out. So it's that no, not that looking arm and then these two go away. Now, ah, look. Wait a second. If it says this one here, now I'm looking at the instruction. Well, what it is this? But those holes are so small. Yep, this is going to be a bit fiddly and I don't know if I'm going to have to orientate it again. So that way... Ah, nay! Now they've turned it in... Okay, warning, they've turned it in the instructions. No, but it doesn't matter, it's symmetrical. So it does not matter. Yeah. 
see a second time success. Wow, that jumps around a lot. It's not going to be easy to get it screwed through there. Something better to press on that. Oh, so I'm gonna press the. See, it's starting to. Um, uh, looking there, it's starting to come through. I would really need to press exactly there to give it some support. I could use. Yes. And any bit that has a hole in it, I suppose. say that was the easiest thing to get on. Could be that this screwdriver bit is not exactly the right one. Or it's worn out. Been using this one a lot. Hmm. Just thinking maybe to even put a pilot hole through. Because I mean really it doesn't need to be that tight. There's not that much force on this thing. Start. 
And these holes are a bit tight. one actually went easier on that side than the other side. No? I don't know. No, I think probably good enough for this, for that. Yes. Is it even correct? Or did I succeed in putting it on the wrong side? That is so strange. It looks like I've succeeded in putting it on the wrong side. No, it is... Oh, wow, this stuff is difficult. I'm trying to look at the instructions. At the instruction picture and then comparing it to what I have in my head. No, but it's okay. Sorry. No, no, no. Blame tiredness because, of course, then you see the screws going through there and the notches there. No, it's okay. So, done with that one. And we can actually have a look here. So, done this part, and then we go, and then it should look like that. Let's see if it does. And again, the tricky thing about showing it in the webcam that won't really look the same as in the picture of the boat. Yeah. And then... Why has it got two pictures? Okay, that's from underneath. No, I can do it. Just to check the... Oh, that looks alright. And then it should sit on top of... Okay, and that's going to be the small screw then, that's not relevant. Okay, go there. Oh, sorry. I need to switch back to this one here. So, as with my putting um, furniture together, one needs to, at least from from my perspective, need to try and keep sanity by keeping all the work pieces in the correct order, or the correct order, yeah, the same orientation as the instruction. Okay, and then they wanted this servo to be in the middle, and that's why we centered the servos in the previous video. So that now, when I put this on here. Um, theoretically it's in the center position of the servo, so that seems to go down okay. Well, it's quite rock solid actually, it's a, quite a quite a rigid structure, um, even if it's um, ri yeah, not that strong materials. Face down. Okay, and then we're going to go. The next thing is to install the left arm servo. So I need some parts for that. Oh, I just hope I haven't been doing this weird offsetting issue. So that's that one. 
Let's see, uh, we have a servo motor. Oops. Drop that one. There we go. What do we need? A servo motor. to be These have no numberings on them, the, the numberings in the drawings are not reproduced on the uh, parts that I have at least. I mean this number where it says number 4, the, the, and then here's number 5, so it's, well, it, it looks like they should be part of the, or engraved on the parts, that's not the case. See any evidence of offsets on this one at least? Oh, that, that, oh, that's so strange. And these look. Oh, I might have to move back to. So you see, here's here are the. See, these holes are not offset in any way as far as I can see. They are. Ah, see, this is like alignment wise, they're on the same height. And there doesn't seem to be any alignment difference here either. So they didn't use the same strategy um, with this one. Oh, I need to get the screws, of course. I didn't assemble, didn't pick out the screws. Let's see, where are they? Ah, it's not giving the screws. What should be used. So, now it's hard to compare. Okay, I have to go back to. The, I'm just looking at the instruction to get the uh, be nine millimeter. Okay, so M nines. So that's nine millimeter in, in the millimeter world. Don't know what it says in inches. Let's 
to be able to get it screwed in. There we go. Let's get the twist a bit. Matter. That's a problem with plexi, you know, it will, it will stress until it breaks, but it actually doesn't look like it's broken. Yeah, that's strange. So why change from one mechanism to another one? You do imports. That's not such a sane thing to do. That's actually one thing they could learn in China a lot about comparing to Europe, the rest of the world. Rationalized ports. have five ways to do the same thing. Of course when labor's cheap then you don't really think about those things so much. Okay, I'm just gonna compare. Uh -huh, now we need to put the rocker arm on. So we've done this assembly, and then we need to put the arm on, which will be one of those uh, more servo arms. Of course. No, need to forget them. So now I'm going to put this. Uh, okay, that's a little bit of misordering of pictures. Because this one comes after that. Well, I suppose we can forget them. Maybe just the wrong order of the picture.
Yeah, I can't say that I'm the most fastest builder. <laughs> Stand around thinking too much. I think this is going to be quite a neat little thing. I did not expect anything else. Uh, as long as we don't hit a snag on something that's impossible to fix, I'm happy. Because I'm kind of flexible when it comes to the Chinese stuff. I can accept a reasonable amount of crap. Doesn't bother me. Not gonna send it back to China. Oh, just these are not that easy to get in place. I think I got it started. I guess the one needs to be able to press on it to get it through. underneath it that's kind of reasonable. around quite a lot before you actually get it to bite. Oh, see, now it bites into one of the holes. Good luck trying to get it to go into a specific hole. As long as the one of them takes, then it's good enough. Check with the pitcher. Like here in the picture, so let's take this one here. I take the last picture and then we try and get it like that. Nearly thinking if I should split this m this YouTube video into two parts, it's going to be quite long. Let's see if we can find a good place to pause. So, if it's like that, I'm gonna put it approximately like that then. Pretty much it's oh uh, well, let's see how can I show that yeah. 
looks like. Like that. Let's see. That. And then we put the holder screw in. Still right arm server, right plate. So, we need servo again. Mm, just have to double check what kind of an arm it was needing. In the picture, I think that's more reliable. Two types of arms provided, but I don't think it really matters that much which one one takes. Big arm. So I think we had here. So it should be in the one. And then we need to make up some plate. Probably most likely that one. Okay, here we have the bunch of ports. I think that's everything. And then it's the last job. Connecting this. 
terrible. Oh. A bit tricky this. a bit tricky to get it started. Correct. Okay, show that first. So here we have the ports, and then we do this. So it's like this way around. Have the servo. screws in. to use this manual tool because um, with plexi stuff you know you don't want to over tighten so it's actually sadly better to use one's hands for tighten or no so well that's assembled that much at least and then we have to 
to go back here and then and again okay but yeah well I did this already. so and then we need to put that on let's see so that will be like this and there's an arm that goes up like that and then there's the, the screw that goes in here So that's orientated in the same way the picture is. So like that. Easy to see what angle they put it at. We're not just gonna have to try our best, I suppose. So we take this and then. Ah, oh, not easy. So I'm just gonna guess that it's like. Wait. to put it on the wrong way around. <laughs> uh, no, no. Do it the right way around. That would be better. It will probably go on better. But then I need to watch those screw ends so that I don't puncture myself. Okay, there. Now, fixed. Ah, that was a bit stupid trying to put it, put it on from the wrong side. So I want to try to do thing once once tired. Whoops! We're getting ready for Christmas. Oh, a lot to do today. Early start tomorrow. And there probably won't be a video tomorrow. There will be partying going on. So that's like that. Okay, next then. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Center base plate join. So that's the next one. Does that look like? Which are not mentioned, 
Oh, that's not so helpful. Okay, why not mention old screws? That's not so cool. Guess what the screw is then? Huh? Come on, see from the picture. No, there's only two pictures. Okay, so we know that it's that kind of screw. So it needs to have a bolt. And I'm going to see if I can find that bolt. There we go. Self locking. At least I think it was self locking. Yes, self-locking. You can see the plastic bit in, in the... Uh, let's see if we go back here. Yeah, you can see the plastic bit here in the middle. And it's a bit rounded at the top. And then we know that it's on. But then what will the length be then? You have to try and guess, I suppose. I think I'll have to try and steal a 9mm one off. And that'll just be it. If there's an extra 9mm, those are obviously 9mm. How many servos do we have to connect? One more. I'm assuming the servos will continue using. I should use my own tools for assembling, but then I thought it would be kind of fun to use the tools. To do it. So anyway, that's that's what that looks like. Not from the outside. So that should be should be okay. I think. Just looking at the instructions a lot. The picture actually looks the same. Yeah. So okay, so that's done. And then we have to go back here. Connect the home. Uh, okay. The CXO. Good. Oh, you know, I don't think give the screw. Oh, I missed something. I, they've actually been good at giving the. In some instructions, they're good at giving the the screw sizes, screw lengths. But now they've completely missed out. That kind of sucks, really. to 
zoom in a bit. Guess what those screws are. Okay, so I can guess from the picture, I suppose. Man, that sucks. guess that those are the so those will be like the Even though they'd separate this one, so I was trying to trying to indicate that that's a different length, but it doesn't look a different length. And since they don't have it in the text, then I'm just gonna have to guess that it's the same screws. Got quite a lot of screws left, so we'll see. As I said, I might need to split this into two in the video into two parts. Because there might be too much to do in my setting. Okay, it's not good. Just trying to find the right parts. That looks like one of them. That's not it. It's that one, I think. This. Okay, not that one. And then it was all the parts that we we already put together. Wait, they want to have four nuts. Let's see, just have to bring them over. Is any of them a locking nut? No. Seems to be standard nuts. So, that's the nuts. So, wait. Uh, I wonder if I should switch over to the other view now. to continue assembling it. Now we need to understand pictures. Okay, they're not really that great. Well, I could just show. It's not so here they give the collection of parts, that's okay, except they don't give the screw lengths, which is kind of sucks. And then, um, you know, one needs to like kind of guess what it would be good with a middle picture showing, and not this background, this grey background. That's horrible to make things visible. So then one has to like guess what that part is. We can't can do it, of course, it's not that super difficult. But It's still a little bit annoying to actually try and visualize which part it is.
Well, I'm just going to have to do a bit of guesswork, I suppose. No, sorry. I think I'll move the other parts out of the view and make it a bit easier to understand. So no. So, so now we start with this part and this part. And then let's see. So I'm going to go in there. And they want us to put that in there. It'll even stay without dropping out. Hardly going to stay without being hardened. I probably put it in there with super glue. Maybe I should put, put the screw. I will show it better once I get it started. Oh, here, like that. Ah! Fell off. Like, like that. And that would be according to the instruction. If it isn't, then I have to take it apart. So, let's select that. And then, what's the next phase? Okay, that was the screw. Is it showing here then? Not that useful. Or is it showing a picture of it when it's. So I'm looking at the instruction again, trying to understand what the heck it's trying to show. Or is that the other side? Yes, this is from the other side. So they're trying to show this angle, I think. Mm -hmm. Use it with this part. And again, it could have been useful if they would have actually shown what parts are in the show. So, don't trying to show in that picture. Don't tell me it, that's not some... No, but then you can't, they can't put that the wrong way around. Sadly, I do not understand. You're going to be wondering what I'm doing. Trying to understand where this picture came from. <coughs> oh, so this picture I understand very well.
can pretty much guarantee where that came from. But um, this here, what? <laughs> In what orientation do you put the system to get that pitch? Okay, now I'm getting there, and then there's another component. Have the servo. This servo must be. Yeah, I'm getting there, slowly. Okay, now I think I can switch the camera again. So it's this big port, orientated on that one. And basically, like that. Okay, the initial arm orientation I don't get. Doesn't make good sense. Okay, I think that we should just continue building. I think this is getting, we are getting there. It's just the one trying to think how it will be, like moving forward, be the assembly. supporting structure and there are the arms like from that angle and then from the other angle so that's okay so that looks but I must say from their pictures I would say good luck trying to understand it I'm not sure if the arm oriented uh, the you know the the arm extension is put on top of the servos and their initial positions looks a bit funny, but as I said, I think we should just continue building until we don't have an issue with that. Okay. And then, um, go back to this. Now, let's see if we get that same look. Would it be nice if they had taken it from further back, because then I could see if one has those initial servo. Angles correct. It's very hard to say. Very hard to see from the picture if they're correct or not. Let's 
see if they have a... What's this about then? We skipped a point or... How did we end up? Wow! Uh, not happy. Now we're really going faster than the instruction here. Like, skipping like crap loads of stuff. Sorry, just not really understanding this directly. Anyway, I will think I might need to take a break. I'm tired. Oh, wow. Okay, I think I get it now. Well, then I think that we screwed it together too fast. Because I think that it can't be screwed together before it's actually on the base plate, and I think the base plate is positioned wrong. This is not the default orientation. Because according to this one, it should be like that. And that's not the same orientation. 
Anyway, I can fix that. I'll just unscrew it. Oh, yeah, sure. So, correcting for bad instructions. It's actually like they seem to gets worse the more the longer down the instruction one goes. So I think this video has not been worthless for anybody attempting to do this project at least. But anyway, as I said, I'm happy if I if the only things I find are things that I can still fix. Then I'm yeah, reasonably happy. I did not pay a very large price for this. So can't expect perfect as well. Bingo! Now it's the that plate is in the correct orientation. Now we can uh, look at the base instructions again. Now this makes a little bit more sense. So that's what it should look like. And now we have this here. So it looks like that. Contrast is a bit. Oh, that's better. Black. <laughs> black on black. Not easy to see. And then um, this here. And the thing is, it should go on top there, quite obviously. And the thing is, it won't go on top of there if the screws have already been screwed in for this part. So. Why are they showing? Why? What? What is the order of installation? Why are they showing to do this first? You can't do this because then you will not be able to get it to go on here. As far as I see, or will you? Uh, I think there's a very large risk of breaking some plastic, so I would suggest not risking it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to untighten. Oh throwing screws around and things so that I actually don't know where where those two extra screws are used. Oh, I know. Ah, oh, this is not good instruction this. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to uh, loosen that one and loosen that one. I don't think it'll be enough to loosen just on one side. Could be it could actually be good enough to loosen on one side. But one needs to give enough space for it to connect on. I wonder if I should try and loosen it only from one side. But definitely don't put any strain on the plastic. Because then you're liable to break something. And black on black is not easy to see. I can tell that much. goes on there. Oh, that did not work out very well. Mm. Yeah. So I'll take tricks. No, I think what I'll do is I'll loosen this one. No, wait, I need to loosen up. We'll leave that one on. And we put it in place. Because it should. Ah, oh, that. Ah! Oh. Okay. No, no, it's, it's, it's totally screwed that instruction. Really, really screwed. Because you cannot. You, you need to unscrew both of those. Oh wait, I'm just moving this thing too much. 
I want to keep the same orientation, not to get too confused. Uh, not really sure how this is going to work, but that fits on. Oh, black on black. <laughs> That's not easy to see, even if it's going in. Oh, that's not going to fit on there in default. So there's been some dimension creep when they were using the laser. And this is just not going to fit. Okay, but I can file that, of course, get it to the right dimension. fiddly. Ah, this didn't turn out to be that much fun. Because now this is this is serious. This oh black on black again. It's just impossible. So these holes need to line up. I wonder if it can be seen. Yeah now. So those three holes need to line up, and they don't. So you can get the, the you know one or the other in, but not both. So what I'm going to have to do now is to do some filing and adjustment to get those to align up. And I think this video has been getting too long anyway, so I think that if we will call it a day for <laughs> this part. And, um, I will then um, file the port to fit probably all the three parts. So it will be this one and this one. Oh, why did that fall out? I think I had to fall out. Oh, doesn't matter. And then. Um, come back and comment what I had to adjust. Well, this is a bit sad. 
this thing. So we have a problem with the sequence of the instruction, plus being unclear, plus parts not fitting. <laughs> ah, it will go together, that's for sure. It's just that the, I don't know if one needs to have the, um, so I will like uh, file adjust the parts so they fit and then I can come back and continue the video and then explain what I adjusted. Because the thing is it'll probably be the, due to the tolerances when you when different people buy this kit, then it, for some people it will fit and for others it won't. It depends on on, on what ma base material is being used, you know, what are the parameters on the cutter, lots of um, different things. So it could be that I just have a, I just sadly have a batch that um, where the parts don't fit together 100%. And it's not that much off. I mean, the, the amount of filing that I will have to do is not that. And it's probably the, the, the tolerances on this edge here are too tight for the laser to handle. So it's this one here, which probably just have to adjust it. I would assume. And it's it also for this side the same thing, so I think it's probably that, the end, the end bit there. So that's a quite a small detail to cut out with a laser, uh, with melting plastic. Okay, well anyway, let's call it a day and let's say this was some, I, I wouldn't call it a failure, I just wanted a little bit of a disappointment. And then I adjust it offline and then um, continue the video when I have the, at least three these three parts. Um, fitting. And I won't assemble it before I start the next video. It will be possible to see how it's put together. Um, okay, so that's enough for this one. Oh, hope this was interesting and um, yeah, no worries. It'll be a robot. Even with bad instructions and crappy material, we'll fix it. <laughs>